What is up, Dokkan player? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Blaze, and we are back with another Dokkan battle video. And today, before we start the video, of course, hopefully you guys are having a very good day today. So today, this video is going to be here. I'm going to be about the top five domains that we can expect here going forward in the game of Dokkan because it is going to be a new feature. Now, I'm not only going to be doing your top five just because I want you guys to comment down below what you guys could, uh, uh, think here, sorry, is going to be a potential uh, domain in the future in the game of Dokkan. But... Uh, so far, there's only going to be two characters that do have the domain, uh, which of course is going to be here Fusion Zamasu, the LR Tech one. Um, that does make him into the Infant Zamasu, and then that makes him invincible. And then we also have here the Free to Play Trunks that also has a domain, but his domain effect is actually something that provides support, right? Where we see here, it's going to be here Future Saga, Category Superclass Enemies and Allies, Attack and Defense plus 10%. So um, this domain is actually, you know, can go differently right because it can be support it can make you invincible or who knows what can it add later in the future but so far it shows you that the domain is actually something that can be versatile so i started for number one i think without a shadow of a doubt i think this one right here we can smell it we can see it i like pretty sure is my number one pick that's gonna be getting a domain it is gonna be here super boo or maybe kid boo but I do believe here it's actually going to be here Super Wu, and reason why is because as if you guys remember, Super Wu actually absorbs Vegito as his final trump card, right? Um, when he's actually going to be Buhan right about here, and he actually ends up being able to absorb Super, I mean Super Vegito, sorry, just because Vegito actually cuts off his tail, and when he does that, um, his tail is actually kind of roaming around, and then he. Let, then Vegito lets him absorb him with the tail here, and then once we actually, uh, once he actually gets absorbed, we actually get to see here that we have here this kind of new domain or the area of Super Boo. So I do believe that this is something that we could see in the future. I think this is my number one pick as far as getting a domain, just because it makes a lot more sense as far as what it could be done or what it could do here for Super Boo. I believe that this is definitely going to be. Um, very similar to Zamasu, where he's going to be basically invincible because right now we're in the world of Super Boo since we are basically in his territory, right? Since he did absorb us. I think a very cool detail to see this if we actually do get the domain for Super Boo is that we can maybe see here the other Z fires have been absorbed, right? So I think that'd be pretty cool to see here if we actually did, um, what you gonna call it here, if we actually did get a domain for Super Boo, but I'm almost like 99% sure in the future we are beginning here a domain for um, Super Boo. So that's going to be my number one pick as far as a domain in the game of Dokkan. Um, it is going to be here Super Boo. Oh, I guess maybe you want to call him Buhan here because that's where he actually starts the domain effect while he is... Oh, actually, was it... No, it's in his base form um, where he actually does the domain, if I'm correct. No, no, no. I'm, I'm too high right now. It's actually when he's Super Boo because uh, Vegito just overpowers Buhan. So yeah, so I do believe here that when we actually get here another Buhan, this Buhan is actually going to get here the um, the domain effect. So that's going to be my number one pick. My number two pick, I think this one here is going to be pretty obvious, is going to be here uh, Janemba. Um, as you guys know, <clears throat> sorry, as you guys know that when, in the movie um, for Janemba, once one of the employers actually get like the evil glue or evil like fluid fall on them right he actually becomes janemba and then when janemba actually comes to to life i guess or makes his appearance he starts to turn the other world into like a jelly bean um area right or jelly bean arena if you want to call it so i do believe that this could be another uh domain for the game of dokkan which would be really really nice and pretty interesting as far as the effects i probably would say maybe this would be similar to trunks here as well that we're basically um he would be providing here uh what you call it here he would be providing here basically support to maybe movie bosses um or other world war oh, sorry other other world warriors sorry as a buff in this domain or in this area and then maybe he has like a guaranteed nullification for beam for beam attacks i think that's something that can definitely be uh seen here if janemba does get a domain which i feel like is going to be definitely an option for dogon just because again Domains, how they usually work is that basically you go into a different area and then you actually, after that, you actually get new effects based in that area, which we saw here with Zamasu and then we saw here, with, of course, with Trunks. So I do believe because we are entering a new world with Janemba, we are going to get here, of course, a domain um, based on the movie, right? Because again, originally the world was Otherworld, but after that he makes it to like the Jellybean world. So 
uh, again, I think this could be a, a buff here for basically movie bosses and other world warriors, where they get maybe attack and defense plus like 30% or 20%, right? Um, that would be really, really busted, especially if they also give him a key blast notification while in this dimension, I guess. This is going to be pretty crazy as far as a domain, so very, very happy. By the way, this picture is just freaking boss ass, so damn. Janema was definitely one of my favorite villains in Dragon Ball. Um, but anyways, we'll see in the future if he actually gets here a, um, a whatchamacallit, a domain. So that's my number two pick as far as the character has to be getting their domain. My number three, I'm almost certain, but I feel like a lot of players are going to agree with this, is that I hit what his uh, time skip is going to get basically a um a domain just because uh hit has this beautiful effect which we've never really seen in dokkan i mean we got a small glimpse of it but it's not like it's true power but i feel like it's definitely something that we can see here with uh hit just because uh we do actually see it in legends right legends hit does have the um the unique bar which actually makes him go to the time skip and then he's just invincible for about like i believe like 10 counts or something right so it's actually right here hit oops Hits uh, time skip, right? Um, and he does have a background, right? So we have this background right about here. Um, and again, hit just becomes really invisible. This was first used, I believe, in the uh, tournament of, not tournament of power, but in the tournament between Universe 6 and Universe 7, uh, where hit used a time skip. But when he actually went to go back and kill Goku, we saw like a more different type of time skip, right? So I feel like if, if Hit was to get a domain, um, it would be really cool. And then what he can maybe get here is definitely invincibility since basically he's supposed to be freezing the enemy. But also maybe he can also get here counters as well. Um, not too sure what they can add for Hit's domain. But if they made him invincible and I guess also provide support um, to I guess maybe Universal Survival Saga or Universe 6, uh, I think that'd still be pretty good. Um, but it'll be pretty interesting, sorry, pretty interesting to see how his domain would actually look like because the others are like, you know, like we compare it to Infinite Zamasu, Trunks, or even uh, Buhan and also Janemba, like the characters are still moving where it hits domain, right, or his time skip, basically everything's supposed to be frozen, so not too sure how it would work for his domain, but I do believe that this is a character that could definitely get a domain in Dokkan just because of his beautiful time skip. Uh, background so that's gonna be my guess um but you guys let me know down below um so that's gonna be what my number three pick so far so so far we have janemba we have your uh sorry buhan janemba and then we also have your hit my other one this one i'm not too sure if we're gonna get here but since it is gonna be related to hit here for the time skip uh from the planet namic saga i do believe here that goldo is also gonna get a domain and the reason why is because he's just exactly like hit right about here where he has actually the time freeze so again this is goldo when he actually does his time freeze and i feel like this can also be a domain now as far as a dokkan fest he's definitely not gonna be a dokkan fest but as we've seen in the game of dokkan banner units are no exception to not getting of course like these nice mechanics right like for example the intro as far as the intro right mechanic uh zomasu is actually the first banner unit to actually get a intro and then we also have your Nappa, if I can actually maybe pull him up right about here. Uh, Nappa is going to be part of the Saiyan Saga. Nappa was the first banner unit to also get a active skill. So I wouldn't be too shocked if Goldo, right, since he does have the time freeze, um, if Goldo would actually get here a um, as a banner unit, a domain effect, right? And again, I think this, this one would be pretty cool because just like his, his is going to be here basically time freeze. And maybe you just be invincible for like for the first three turns so uh, i think that's something that's going to happen here for goldo but as far as a banner unit so um this is something that potentially we can see here but i decided to put uh goldo just because he's very similar to hit here uh so for the first three i'm almost confident that these guys are going to get a um a domain but for the last two i'm not too sure if it's something we're going to see in the future now my last pick for number five as far as a domain is going to be here rose now, Rosé, again, we don't know any details, but he could be a Carnival LR for Part 2. I'm praying and hoping he's going to be a Carnival because I don't want an Android or a Double Trunks. Uh, I feel like Rosé definitely deserves a Carnival LR. And if he actually is going to be a Carnival LR, then hopefully they actually give him a Domain Effect. And the one I'm going to be referring to right here for the Domain 
is going to be... Oh, I, did I not save it? I thought I did. Um, is going to be... Let's see here. Rosé Clones. Um, Rift. There we go. Um, okay, my god. Do I have to put Dragon Ball? Let's see here. What? Okay, hold on here. Where, where did I put it here? I thought I already saved it. Hold on. Rosé. Let's see here. There we go. All right, beautiful. So as you guys know here in the da Dragon Ball Super anime, uh, Goku Riff actually creates a Riff. Or sorry, Rosé creates a Riff here. And by doing so, there are going to be multiple clones as we can see here. And then Vegeta and, and everyone basically in this dimension um, actually fights off against Rosé. So I believe this is something that we could see as far as the domain for part two of the celebration. Um, and basically their effects is basically going to be the same thing as Infinite Zomasu. Where basically, um, whatchamacallit here, he just becomes invincible because he has multiple clones and he just do a lot of damage. So that's going to be my fifth option as far as basically a character that's going to get a domain effect. And I think it would be really, really cool. We already seen a small clips of this with the Rosé. Um, where's Rosé? With Rosé right about here when he actually goes into his rage mode. Um, because when he goes to his rage mode, right, his super attack is actually going to be clones, right, on his 18 key super, uh, which is called the f uh, Funeral Song of, of Ire. Okay, I didn't know it was Ire, but anyways, in this super attack effect, you actually see multiple clones of uh, Rosé, right? So I believe here that it's potential something that we can see in the game of Dokkan, um, but it would be really, really cool to actually see this effect here as a domain where Rosé is just invincible and he's just shooting out these disgusting 10 15 million attacks out to the bosses so i would really like to see that as a um as as a whatchamacallit here as a domain in the game of dokkan so that's gonna be my top five picks now there's gonna be an extra two right here which i'm not too sure if we're going to get but i feel like ui goku is something that could potentially maybe get a domain effect and the reason why is because if you guys remember in the anime when ui goku is against jiren and is about to go to ultra instinct in like the last fight uh, there's like a galaxy that opens right and then that galaxy could be ui goku's domain where basically he just has a guaranteed chance of dodging right so can i maybe pull it up here let's write here ui goku transformation let's see do we have the galaxy um not too sure if we can actually find it here let's write galaxy Oh, there we go. Beautiful. So this right here, right, could be maybe a, do a domain for UI Goku. And then basically UI Goku just, just does guarantee dodges um, where bosses cannot even nullify it because there are certain bosses like Broly that actually cancel dodge. And maybe this domain just ignores it where UI Goku is just completely um, dodge free for like three turns or something right so i believe that this can maybe can be a domain which would be a really sick domain for ui goku so that's something i can definitely see in the future and the last one is actually going to be here uh gogeta gogeta blue now i'm not too sure how this would work as far as a domain because this domain which is actually in the background of this character um actually happens when he clashes with broly from dbs um so once they actually clash fists together we actually get here of course a new dimension so not too sure how that would work as far as domain. Maybe what happens as far as the domains that we have here, Gogeta clash with the enemy. And then basically that's going to create the dimension. And basically, I don't know what the effect we would get here for Gogeta, but it would actually be really cool to actually see him get a domain. So I actually might take out uh, Goldo just because we have hit. And I'm actually going to put here Gogeta Blue. I think Gogeta Blue is going to be definitely in the top five. Uh, characters we can see a domain in game of Dokkan. So, uh, again, I, now that I think about it, we can just see here Gogeta just basically clash with the enemy. And by doing so, we just go into a different dimension. And this will allow the Gogeta to go, I don't know, completely berserks, right? So, um, it'll be pretty interesting to see what he actually gets in his domain. But um, that's going to be pretty much it for my thoughts. Uh, I want to leave that right there because I want to leave you guys some answers which you guys could see or want as a domain game of dokkan so as far as my results or my top five picks for the domains we can see in dokkan it's going to be here uh super boo or buhan uh we're going to have your janemba we have your hit we have your gogeta and then i'm going to go here with rose 
Um, so that's going to be my top picks for the domain. But uh, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button. Sub for more videos come down below. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!